Hello everyone. This is the pre-market report video for today, May 5th in the Nifty stock market in terms of Nifty and Bank Nifty. Last night before the US market opening, there was a rumor about another US regional bank which is based in California called Pack West Bank Corp was exploring the various strategic options and that includes possible selling of the bank completely. Then after some time in the early afternoon, this Pack West Bank Corp confirmed that indeed they were evaluating all the possible options to save the bank from defaulting plus they also said that they haven't experienced any out of ordinary outflows in deposits like it happened in first republic bank and silicon valley bank this along with the 25 basis point hike in fed interest rate increased the recession fear and thus it further increased negativity in the global momentum On top of that Bank of America's securities informed their investors that recession in US is now very imminent. I think this clearly shows that the banking system in US is going to be in deep trouble. And I genuinely believe looks like now the damage is already done in whole US banking system. I mean Even this Packwest Bank Corp is also not the small bank it's medium sized to one even for US it got the assets under management of over 40 billion US dollars it means in indian money it's over 3 lakh crore rupees and also rochester released the statement that packwest western alliance and horizon national corporation those were the next three banks that are all in the brink of collapse All this made those bank stock price to collapse like a deck of cards. For example, last night in one single day, Packwest Bank dropped over 50%, Horizon dropped over 30%, and Western Alliance dropped near 40%. Above all, in addition, Department of Labor released the number of new people that claimed jobless insurance for the first time during the past week. and the data comes as 242000 which is more than last week and slightly more than that of the expected level again this jobless claims data is in the elevated level for the past 6 straight weeks i mean in a way it's good since for sure now fed will pause the interest rate decision in the upcoming june fomc meeting but my worry is that as i said earlier the damage is already done To be honest it's really difficult to predict the consequence like every slowdown or possible recession this one is also very unique anyway let's hope for the best at the end dow jones lost 0.86% s&p fell down by 0.74% and nasdaq decreased by 0.49% about vex since it's a fear gauge and last night it increased by another 10% and moved about 20 Just for info 2 3 days ago it was less than 16 now about 20 so 20% increase in 2 3 days in terms of oil it's almost the same as day before at the time of this video wti crude is trading near 68.5 us dollars per barrel and brent crude is trading near 72 us dollars per barrel in the after us market has apple released their quarterly results and as expected their revenue was declined due to the less iphone shipment but both revenue and profit beat the analyst estimation because of that in the post market i mean in the offline apple stock price increased near 2% coming to indian ideas despite all this four stock closed positive in indian market last night in the us market all four ideas both banks and it closed negative especially hdfc bank in indian market it increased over 2% whereas in the us market it dropped over 1% same for reliance industries in indian market it increased by 1% whereas in the gdr it dropped near 0.5% moving on about hx nifty at 3 am indian standard time it closed near 18220 which means equating it with our spot market indicating 8200 points gap down opening today So that's what happened in the global market. Now let's move to the India related info. First, it's crazy. All of a sudden, now FII completely turned as bullish in the Indian market. Again, yesterday for the sixth straight session, FII net bought shares worth approximately thousand four hundred crore rupees, and DAI after two days of selling, now they too turned as net buyers as they net bought shares worth approximately near four forty crore rupees. As I said yesterday this is the huge psychological positive for the Indian market. 
then regarding quarterly results yesterday various important companies such as hdfc hero motor corp tvs motor and adani enterprise all released their quarterly results here hdfc released during the market hours and it beats the analyst expectation and that was already factored in the yesterday's price movement other than that all released in the after market hours first hero motor corp their net profit increased over 35% and their ebit margin increased over 190 basis points to 13% in terms of revenue it increased by 12% and it's similar for tvs motors their net profit increased over 50% and their revenue increased by 19.4% so i consider both the results were positive and both of them beats the analyst estimation thus i expect the stock price to trade positive here as i said lot of times it's just my opinion i can be wrong moving on tata power 2 posted the very good results however adani enterprise didn't beat the street estimate their net profit increased to near 2400 crore rupees compared to near 800 crore rupees a year ago it means it increased over 100% but still it is below bloomberg estimation of 4200 crore rupees profit again their revenue is also doubled compared to a year ago but still that too below the bloomberg estimation so i'm not that positive on adani today overall the q4 results of major companies that released yesterday showed mostly a positive outlook finally yesterday along with the recession warning bank of america issued another warning that indian companies might post less of over 40% in the earning in the present financial year fy2024 i mean earlier their guidance was that indian companies to increase their earnings by 17 to 16% now they reduced that to 11 to 9% as a summary again compared to last two days global momentum further deteriorated now looks like banking crisis is not going to end and last night us market closed negative and so does our adias and ss nifty is indicating the gap down of 9200 points however as we discussed low crude oil price good earnings results and immune to recession due to the indian informal sectors all favors then about the things to look out britannia industries paytm adani power ajanta pharma and federal bank are some of the major indian companies earnings results are scheduled to release today and in terms of macro during the market has around 130 pm various european countries such as germany uk and italy's construction pmi data are due since as i said most of the time western developed nations are more or less housing economy finally in the after market has in the evening india's bi weekly banks deposit credit growth and in the night various us jobs related data such as unemployment rate payroll data etc anyway moving on yesterday as expected european central bank increased the interest rate by 25 basis point for the whole european union coming to technical yesterday nifty increases for the seventh time in the past eight sessions to close at more than four months high and thus it forms long green candle on the daily chart with a higher high and higher low formation by combining the last two days a small red candle followed by the large green which engulfs the body of the previous day's candle this formation is called bullish engulfing pattern and it formed at the higher level so it's the indication of momentum continuation so the general outlook is positive and the market is expected to continue buy on dips until the important support 70950 is broken i mean i always talk about base or support level it's kind of crazy in the last two weeks it have moved up from 70450 to 17820 and are now at 17950 then about bank nifty again it too forms the long green candle with a higher high and higher low formation indicates a strong upside momentum in the market yesterday it's closed near its all time high value which it reached on december 14th it's only 460 points away again i don't need to talk about any of the moving average or technical indicator since almost all the known averages are indicating a strong buy in the daily chart for both nifty and bank nifty so from pivot chart for nifty at present the support is present at around 18070 and strong support at 18000 
on the higher side the immediate resistance to break is at 18320 then in terms of bank nifty the support is present at around 43020 whereas the resistance is at 44070 so that's all in this video hope you all got some useful information please consider subscribing the channel and liking the video so it will help me beat the algorithm and also motivate me to do more please don't make any investment decision based on this as i'm not a savvy registered advisor i am doing it for my and viewers educational purpose only thanks for watching